This is the biggest park in the middle of Berlin and a place with many faces. During the day, you see here a lot of people, tourists, for example, who want to discover the city from this park as there are a lot of historic sites nearby. But as it gets dark, there's a different crowd gathering, young refugees willing to sell their bodies. And we don't have to look for long to find them. Young men who gather here at dusk, none of them want to talk on camera. They fear it might jeopardize their asylum process, like Farad, 21, from Afghanistan. No. Drugs force me to do this job. I have to earn money for drugs. He doesn't want to talk about the job in detail. Some clients pay as little as five euros. Most of the refugees are ashamed how they try to make some money. They don't tell anyone, especially not their families back at home, while they face so many risks. Social workers know their stories and try to help. Diana says hundreds of them sell sex during the night to buy drugs during the day. Someone arriving here from a war zone has probably seen people die along the way. Then as he confronts all this German bureaucracy and he comes to find out he'll have to wait for years to be considered for asylum. And during that long wait he encounters people who don't want him here. He starts to get depressed and turns to drugs. Drugs numb their feelings of hopelessness. Some ask local aid groups for clothes, but that's not nearly enough to help them turn their lives around. The most important thing is to engage with them, and the key to do that is language. If these people from countries like Iraq, Afghanistan, Iran are denied integration classes while they're waiting for their asylum statuses to be approved, they are lost. Back in the park, Dozens of young men are getting ready to make money again, so is Farad. My expectation when I came to Germany was that my family and I would have a good life. I left a bad life in Afghanistan in order to study here, to learn a language, to have a better life. But I don't. He still hopes things may turn out well once he receives his asylum status and the documents to learn German and apply for a job. But that can take for years.